Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jazz. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Today's topic is wedding dress fitting and alterations. So I'm gonna share my experience with you guys uh, with how that went and kind of what to expect because I had no idea uh, what was gonna happen going in or how much I was gonna spend to be honest. So it was a big shocker for me when I seen how much I spent and I just wanna keep you guys posted so you guys can know, maybe have an idea and Let's go. So I actually got my dress from Miosa Bride in downtown Sacramento, but I got it altered at the Miosa Bride in Folsom. So let's just say when you're shopping for your wedding dress, uh, they put you in a bigger dress, right? So, and then they pull you back with the dress. They pull the dress back and clip it. So they're, they're pulling the dress out, clipping it. They're pulling it and clipping it from the back. So you can see what it looks like form fitting on you. They'll put you in like a size 12, they'll put you in a 10, a 14. Like even though you're a size four or six or eight or whatever you may be, they'll put you in a bigger dress. What I, I didn't really understand was that, okay, like if I get my size, it's gonna look exactly like how I want it. It's gonna be pulled tight. It's gonna be form fitting just like how they pulled it and tucked it for you. But that is not the case. Okay, your dress doesn't come exactly pulled and tightened in all the places you want it to, uh, like how it is in the dress, um, the dress try on sitting. So, when you do get your dress, let's say you get a mermaid style dress, it may not be as tucked, sucked, and pulled where you want it to be. So, just know that when you try it on, um, it's not gonna be 100% already what you want, okay? So that's just an example of like, don't get your expectation so high when your dress does come in and you're like, dang, this doesn't even look like dress I tried on. Like, it's gonna be different. So I actually went through Mio Sabri to get my alterations. So it says alterations should be started no later then three months prior to your wedding date. So three months before your wedding date, you can't go like a year before, you shouldn't go two years before, you shouldn't go six months before. Basically, they want you to kind of be like in the right size you wanna be already. Like say if you, want, you wanted to lose 10 or 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 20 pounds, whatever. If you wanna lose weight, you gotta do that before. You can't be losing like 30 pounds one month before your wedding because your dress fitting is three months before your wedding. So keep that in mind. Any alterations started two months or later from your wedding date will have a rush fee. If you wanna get your wedding dress altered six to eight weeks from the wedding date, that's 50 to $100 extra, three to five weeks from the wedding date, 100 to 150 dollars and then one to two weeks from the wedding date is 150 to a whopping 300 dollars so let's not waste money okay let's let's do the right timing that they gave you so the first fitting you meet with your seamstress and um, they'll do all the pinning so they'll do the sides the hem you need to have the shoes that you're gonna wear on your wedding day there because they wouldn't know where to cut it if you don't have your shoes already. So you can pay 50% of the alterations then. So the second fitting, you'll try on your dress and then see what you still don't like. And then so you meet with the seamstress again, any additional changes. And then the third fitting, you'll assess the previous work from the last time and then pay the remaining. And you can take the dress home and then go from there. So that's kind of like a rundown from what the bridal shop did but i'm gonna tell you how uh my personal experience was and how it went for me and what i spent okay i will say they also have a pinning fee so the pinning fee is like if you decide not to go with them and that just goes to the seamstress so if you choose to get your gown pinned by our seamstress then choose not to move forward with our alterations you'll be responsible for paying a 75 dollars pinning fee this pinning fee is for our seamstress's time spent pinning during your appointment if you decide to move forward there is no pinning fee so if you're like okay i'm gonna get it done by y'all no pinning fee change in measurements the wedding planning process can be stressful 
It's common for brides to experience change in their measurements from the time they purchased a the dress, which causes a dress to fit fit differently than expected at home. Also keep in mind that physical activities can cause unwanted changes in the dress fitting. In the dress fit, doing squats can cause your butt or hip of your gown to be more snug than desired. So if you want your booty to grow, you make sure you gotta do that before three months before trying on your dress. So keep an eye on your measurements to avoid any unwanted issues during the alteration process. If you are intentionally making a change to your measurements, please keep in mind that you should be that you should be at a maintainable set of measurements at the time of your start of alteration. So basically be what you want to be before they start. So if you want to be fit, you got to be fit before you started that dress fitting like you can't go up and down, you can't fluctuate because that's just going to be harder for the dress and the seamstress and everything. The situation's going to be harder. Postponement. We understand that wedding dates may need to be adjusted after alterations have began. We did that. We were going to have a October 4th, 2020 wedding. The pandemic made us reschedule to July 25th, 2021. So you can take it home that's free if you want to store it with them there's a 250 dollars storage fee to keep your dress with them just tell your fiance not to go in the closet and look at your dress okay and they should respect that <laughs> so to ship it um they can ship it for you that's 50 to 150 dollars depending on the destination so keep the dress at the house if you have to that'll save you 250 dollars make sure you have the shoes that you are going to be wearing on your wedding day at your dress fittings all three dress fittings your shoes should be there so I actually had two shoes one was four inches tall I think my other one was 4.3 and it was like a wedge foam um, that was not a big difference for me and you still couldn't see my shoe because I chose to do my dress a little bit longer um, if you have two pairs of shoes bring them so you can see what they look like both uh, with the dress and how much uh, length of the dress is going to be hanging down. Okay, Zonka. I actually went to all my dress fittings by myself. My mom was like, I don't really got to go to that, do I? So I'm like, whatever, she doesn't care. So I went by myself. The first time, what I did do, so my dress has straps. I'll put pictures somewhere around here in this video and that was too long so I had to get that done and in the back of my straps there was a little triangle so it was almost like a double strap which is what they counted it as so that costed $130 okay they charged it as two because it would have been just one but because the back of my dress had the triangle that's like too. So they said, do you want to pull it from the front and we'll just charge you for the one strap? Like you pull it from the front or do you want to pull it from the back and it's a double strap? And that kind of changed the way the dress looked. The triangle would have been wider and bigger, um, but from pulling it from the back, the triangle looked smaller and more um, tinier. Um, I liked it down more. It was kind of weird because when it was pulled forward and I was looking in the mirror from the back, it was like a pocket of fat in my bag because it was like a big triangle and it was like tight so it was like squeezing like my skin so I think that's why I went with the, tr the smaller triangle and I paid for the double so it was definitely worth it I mean you pay a lot for your dress you want it to look the way you want it to look the hem lace wide non beaded that was $350 bro $350 and then and yeah, I don't know what that is. Steam out bridal gown, fitted gown, $40. The first thing I paid, so this first fitting, I paid 50% every time, but the grand total of the first fitting I paid was $520. So the next fitting was in May, 5, 12, 2021. And then I did the bustle, which is basically if you have a long train in the back of your dress, uh, you get 
there's like little buttons and hooks from the bottom and they'll put it on your booty. And I did a three point bustle. So they can show you like, oh, do you want a one point bustle? And then it'll put it right there. You can do a two point. Some people, hell, they do a 15 point bustle. And she told me like, people go crazy with that bustle. Like they'll do a bunch of it. And honestly, it was, it was kind of hard. Like, so they do a little video. She told me to record and to see where they are. Cause you can't really see the little tiny buttons and hooks and loops. So um, I had sent it to all my bridesmaids and my maid of honor and just so they had the video of where the bustle is. And even then, I think it took still like 10 minutes on the day of the wedding to figure out where to clip it back. So when I was walking down the aisle, the train is down, the long, long train. And then when we're walking into the um, reception, uh, we had to put the bustle up because we're going to do the first dance and we're going to be dancing and greeting people. I didn't want like a long train and to get trampled on and like, you know, someone trip or it's just harder for me. But I have seen some brides inside the dress. There's actually a loop. If you don't want to do the bustle and you don't mind dragging your long train around, there's a loop. And I've seen um, ladies or brides put the loop that's inside the dress on their hands so they're kind of just hanging their dress but I didn't really want to do that I wanted it to look nice um, so if you don't want to pay for the bustle and you want to do that you can but I actually recommend the bustle because you're gonna be taking tons of pictures and you want it to look good and with the bustle it actually gives you completely different type of dress you're gonna take pictures all day with your train out in the beginning and then you'll have more pictures with the bustle up so that's that the three point bustle was seventy dollars so seventy bucks I was happy with that and I was like dang after the first time it was five hundred twenty dollars to seventy dollars okay so that was a second fitting now so the third fitting kind of blew my mind and so I got everything was done the bustle the thing and it it would have been ready for me to take home if I if I was 100% happy and my problem was I wasn't happy so I kept comparing the alterations to the time when I first tried on the dress um, the stock dresses so I kept looking at it and I was dang like it was more fitted and tight on my booty like I had a shape I have, it was tighter like by my knees and by my thigh area and I will show you guys a picture it just didn't look like how I envisioned it so they tucked it in from here from the side from the back the booty and then they tucked it in from the sides so I paid $465 for that so that was insane like they told me well you can pay 250 if you just want to do it from the side um, and not under your booty and it'll still give me that hourglass figure and they showed me they showed me that she literally pulled it from the side and was like like you'll still look curvy um it's just like you won't really have like a booty effect like it's not that prominent but you can see it still and so when i when she was doing it in the mirror, all I felt was like a round potato because my hips just looked round like this, <laughs> like round, but there was no like, it wasn't like round and then in, you know, it wasn't like in, it was just like round. If I already had paid more than $1,400 for the dress now that I did the two other alterations, I might as well just pay what I want it to be to be happy. Because um, if there's anything that I cut corners on, you guys can see in my other video how I saved thousands of dollars on our wedding. The things I did not cut corners on were things for myself. Things for myself that I felt like, no, I'm going to be happy if I, if I do this for myself. And I'm the bride, like, I'm going to be happy to do it right. I don't want to have any regrets thinking like, dang, like why didn't I just pay that $300 to make it look better? Because you're going to have thousands of pictures, hundreds to thousands of pictures of yourself on your wedding day from every angle, from the photographer, you're going to have the videographer if you have one, and then you're going to have um, photos from all your guests and everybody from every angle. So you don't want to look at your photo and be like, 
I should have got, I should have paid the $300. So I, I kind of justified it by saying, you know what, I'm getting married once, so like, let me make sure my dress is how I want it to be and it's gonna be what I envisioned. So I paid the 465, the last fitting and the dress, the next time I came in, so the fourth fitting was perfect. It was perfect, it looked exactly how I wanted it. Um, they do tell you though, the tighter you go on your booty all the way to your, your knees, it's a little tough when like sitting so every time i sat down i had to like pull 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 and then like kind of sit at an angle like my knees were like kind of like this you have to sit like <laughs> like that you have to sit like that but like this so i mean i like the way the pictures came out and i like the way my body looked in the pictures so if there's something that you're like uh, I don't know, but you're like, no, I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna love it more after. Just do it. Just do it, because then you'll be happy. What I will say to do is to make sure you tell your seamstress and everyone there um, you would like to keep your excess fabric. So this is all my excess fabric. I didn't know what I was gonna do with it, but shoot, you paid how much for the dress? Um, Maybe you'll have a daughter someday and she'll want some of the fabric that was on your dress and I don't know. But there's like, I think this was from the straps, I don't know. So there's just like fabric that came from my dress. Yeah, you just never know. I mean, some people even wrap them around a bouquet. Just fabric. I think this was from, I don't know, maybe the bottom. A bunch of fabric. But yeah, the lace. Keep the fabric because you just never know someday it will be needed. So let me tell you guys the grand total on what I spent on my wedding alterations for my dress. $1,055 on freaking alterations. Can you believe that? So in my head, I thought I was going to spend like $300. Um, I was wrong. So... I spent $1,055. My dress was like $1,400. So can you see how that hurt my feelings? Like my dress was $1,400 and my alterations was a little over a thousand. Like that makes no sense. But we're in the wedding industry. So you guys know everything costs the arm and the leg in the wedding industry. I will say I was 100% happy with my dress. And uh, it's a one-time thing, okay? That was a one time I'll spend that much on a dress. But um, I did ask the seamstress, uh, how much do people spend on wedding alterations? Like, what's the most they've seen? And one of them was like, some people spend like $10,000. And I was like, and I, that made me feel better because I'm like, damn, $10,000? Like, no way, sis. Like, $10,000? Okay, no. I would say definitely... If there's a tip I have, make sure you weigh what you want to weigh before uh, your alterations for sure. Because that can be very stressful. Losing weight and then getting it, you know, not getting your dress in time, fixed right in time. Um, the expedite fees if you have to rush it. Uh, make sure you look how you want to look before then. Second tip would be... I don't got no tips. Oh, a tip would be, another tip I would say is always come with your makeup done because I wanted to see and feel, you know, good in my dress. I didn't want to feel like a bruja without it, without my makeup and just kind of look dead. I wanted to feel good in my dress every single time so I could envision myself um, on that day. Also, I would say if you have earrings, wear the earrings, wear your ring. Uh, it's a magical time, you know, you're very excited, you're getting married. Um, make it special. Yeah, go, go looking nice um, and make sure you bring the variety of bras you want to wear. Uh, something I did last minute. So the whole time I wore a jelly bra in my fitting, 
and only till after I finished my last fitting and I took my dress home and I was like you know what I don't even know if I could wear my jelly bra for 10 hours like that's gonna be sweaty and sticky and nasty and then so last minute I bought a bra from Victoria's Secret a strapless bra that did a good push-up for the girls and um I actually wore that bra instead of the jelly bra which is what I used during the whole fitting so make sure you have all options for the bras um, I even at first tried to wear shapewear with my dress but it actually just added extra bulk under my dress so I ended up wearing like a seamless thong and that actually was the best um, just a nude seamless thong so no bulk and even the seamstress it told me I didn't need it and it was just adding more bulk so make sure you guys have like tons of options for the bottom bring all your underwears bring all your bras because you just never know which one is going to be the one for your dress also i have a ton of other wedding videos if you guys want to check that out how i saved thousands of dollars on our wedding i did a diy um, jenga sign in i did a diy mirror seating chart and i also have a video on um wedding dress uh, shopping tips so a bunch of other wedding videos and if you guys want to shop any of my Amazon finds I have my wedding finds on there and more housings fashion finds everything in between you can shop that in the description in my Amazon storefront all right you guys that was my wedding dress alteration experience I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell and stay tuned i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day